How's it going guys? So after the longest winter of all time, the sun has come out. My eyes have begun to squint. The sleeves have exploded off of my shirt. And I think it's time for me to finally make something that I've wanted since probably before I was a baby. I don't even have a memory, a single moment where I didn't want a grappling hook. And now that I'm finally in a position where I can just pretty much make all of the stuff that I want, I think it's time. I've got some really cool ideas for like some outdoorsy type of builds. This is the first one. I think you guys should be just as excited about it as I am. Now I know what a lot of you guys might be thinking, uh, Eli, a lot of us don't have welders. How are we gonna make this grappling hook? I have some good news for you guys. I save 15% on my car insurance by switching to Geico. So anyways, uh, here's how to make the grappling hook here. You're gonna need a welder for this. All right guys, real talk. I'm making a grappling hook out of an eye bolt and a $3 pack of nails. If you're not subscribed to me, what are you even thinking? Ha 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 ho ho ha 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 No, but really subscribe. All right, so first order of business, I gotta make this thing kind of more square shaped. So I'm gonna use my angle grinder, I'll use this cutoff wheel, and probably also this flap disc to get any of the zinc coating off of it, because I'm assuming that'll screw up the weld somehow. And now that that's done, I'm going to get to work cutting off all the heads of these 12 inch nails and then I'm going to bend all of them up. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, if you can bend that with your hand, won't it be too weak to support your weight? Got a 35 pound cinder block here. I weigh a little less than a buck 50. And I've got one hook here. If you're throwing this thing over a ledge, chances are you're gonna get two hooks on something. If you're throwing this in a tree, you're probably gonna get three or four hooks on something. Uh, but as you can see here, can't get a very good grip on it, but one hook supports 185 just fine. Now I had made this hook just for that test, but after that I realized this is actually in pretty good shape. So I'm abandoning my plan to shape them by bending right here and then bending somewhere around right here. And I'm just gonna do what I did for this one. So instead of just stopping right here, I'm gonna take this pipe to get some extra leverage, put it over the end of the nail right at the edge of the vise right here. And then I'm just going to keep on bending it past that point. And here we get our first glimpse what this will sort of look like once it's finished. This should be pretty cool. Alright, now I'm going to do some quick spot welds on each of the hooks to attach it to the eye bolt. Uh, just so I don't have to mess around with clamps throughout the whole entire welding process. But then once all of the hooks are lightly attached, then I'm going to fully weld all of them. All four hooks are connected to the eye bolt. I've got to fill up all these spaces. Now I have to be really careful to make sure that the weld is penetrating all the way down to the eye bolt. Otherwise these hooks will just be connected to each other, but they'll snap off of the ring pretty easily. All right, I am not a great welder. This is not a great welder, but as you can see, this thing is filled up. So if it's not gonna hold, I don't know what is. It doesn't really matter anyways, because after we're finished with all the welding, we're gonna clean it up with a flap disc anyway. So that'll get rid of any imperfections you can see. And now just to make this thing this much more sturdy, I took about an inch and a half of a different nail and I'm going to squish it in between the four of the hooks and I'm going to weld all four of the hooks to each other using this. Now all that's really left is cleaning all this up with a flap disc using my angle grinder and then after that just some paint and that's it. And these welds are still pretty crappy looking so I'm just going to wrap some tape around this. Yep. That is just fine. So that's about all we got for today. I know I said I wanted a grappling hook since before I was a baby, but I'm pretty sure my little brother Silas has wanted one for even longer. It's gonna be his birthday in about a month, but I wanna get this video uploaded, so I figure I'll just give him an early birthday present. Uh, so thank you, Silas, for being there as much as you can to help me out with the weird stuff that I do. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, being a really great little brother. Thank you for honestly never, never really giving me a reason to, uh, you know, join in with all the other people when they're all complaining about how bad their little brothers are. You've always been a really good brother, uh, and I hope you have a really good birthday. Thank all you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.